What is up, YouTube? Tonight, I just got this project dropped off to me. This dude is putting a two-stroke in a four-stroke frame. So we just need to go ahead and weld four mounts on for him real quick. So you can see what he did here. He kind of like tried to make some mounts. Um, well, he thought the frame was aluminum. Turns out it's steel, which, I mean, you can obviously see from the, the rusting right there. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just make some mounts and mount them on, weld them up. No big deal. To save some time, I always like to collect material. And I have these pieces laying around. You can see already the hole drilled happens to be the right size hole. This just happens every once in a while. So what I'll do is I'll figure out what size that I need and then nip these off and then go ahead and weld them in place. So here are the original mounts that came off the four stroke motor that was in that thing. And you can see it's got a little bit of play and slop in it. And this one has the same amount of play and slop. They are the same size hole. So that's why I like to hold on to stuff like this, old drop pieces that maybe we didn't use. I think this might've been an alternator bracket for like a 350 Chevy, um, but it's gonna work for this application. So we're literally just gonna knock these off and there's two mounts right there for the bottom of the frame. So we'll do that one first. Um, I don't like to take all the bolts out of anything because um, I think this is kind of resting on the frame if you look. Um, and I don't want the I don't want to risk the motor moving because the guy has it where he wants. And as you can see, when I pulled this out, it didn't move at all. So uh, I'm gonna make these two first. Uh, weld them in. And then uh, I'll go ahead and make these two. And I'm hoping, and I'm, I'm can't, I would imagine they use the same size bolt, but I'm hoping that these two, that these two holes right here will work for the top mounts. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. It's got a little dirt and shit on it, but hey, saves me a lot of time. And I'm not really trying to so much clean this up. I'm really just trying to make it so that I know the marker will mark on it. Or the, uh, not the marker, the chalk. Some sort of grease. Let me get a scraper. Actually, you know what? There we go. That's the ticket. Should do it. So we'll go ahead and we'll take this to the bandsaw and nip it right there. I'm gonna do one mount at a time, just make sure everything lines up properly. Um, I think this is gonna work out good though, I hope. There we are. Looks like it came from the factory. So let's go ahead and uh, put this on there and kind of preemptively see if this is gonna fit correctly. Looks pretty good. Beautiful, look at that. So that worked out perfect so far. So as you can see up close, looks pretty good. From the back side, we'll have a nice open route to weld in. Now we're gonna go ahead and figure the other side out real quick. And then uh, once we get that figured, we'll be able to move on to the top mounts. This one's a little more difficult. You know what, I know how to make it easier though. All right, just got stuff in my mount. And... No, that ain't gonna make it any easier. Well, I'll align it from this side with the bolt. The bolt goes the opposite way, but we'll align it like that. So it looks actually that's not that's not low enough. Yeah, we're gonna need it. Actually gonna need it way down here. 
All right. So we'll go ahead and pull the bolt out. We've got our marking made. All right. Let's take this over to the bandsaw, cut it out. For this one, I think it's gonna be a whole lot easier for me just to finish this up with a grinder. So I got that from that bandsaw. So whenever you're cutting with a bandsaw, make sure you use a push stick. My whole thumb got sucked up and it split it right through here all the way. It went like this. Um, it's pretty bad. I still have pretty bad nerve damage. I can't really feel anything on the side of my finger. But So always use a push stick when you're using a bandsaw as well as safety glasses. Um, and you can see this is what the cut looked like when it was fresh. Our second mount. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. This thing's still kind of hot. It's okay. All right. It's actually uh, seems like it's going to work out nicely. And uh, this one is not directly touching up against it. It's about less than an eighth of an inch of a gap, which I kind of like because that's going to give me a fully, fully penetrating weld. So that's just going to sit there just like that, and then we'll tack it in and and weld it out. So we got these both shined up so that way when the customer goes to paint we'll have a nice surface to paint to Put the bolt back on and we'll tighten her down a little. Oh, the bolt went the opposite way actually. Not sure if it matters, but you always try to put things back the way they came to you because you really have no way of knowing whether or not that it was supposed to be like that or not. Might be a specific reason it's in the way it's in. So you always want to put things back the way you got them when you're uh, welding and fabricating on somebody's stuff. Especially because I'm not the dude building this thing out all the way. If I was, then you know maybe it'd be a little different. Then we're just going to tighten the nut down and that's basically going to act as a jig for us and set these things straight. Keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate things. It's just going to make your life harder. All right, perfect. Let's check the other side. It's moved a little. We'll just smack it down with the wrenches like we did the other side. All right, now it all looks equal. Looks like there's about an equal gap. All right, as you can see, lined up nicely it looks nice and professional both sides do and are so uh start welding all right guys we got our ground all hooked up we got our mig all ready to go all set in the way i think it's gonna be it's really kind of a guessing game well not a guessing game an educated guessing game 
go ahead and uh, weld this in. Okay, it seems like my settings are pretty well on point. We definitely need to turn the gas up a little bit. So it appears this shifter is gonna be in my way, so I'm gonna need to take this apart. I don't have a wrench readily available. Maybe I can just pull it. Found the correct socket. I'll just go ahead and remove this. Of course, it's not gonna fucking work easy. Oh, are you kidding me? I fucking hate anything with nuts and bolts. This is probably too long. No, it's actually, uh, Come on, you cunt. Fuck, are you fucking kidding me? Every fucking time I fuck with nuts and bolts, it's always the same goddamn thing. All right, so I'm just gonna hold that up while I weld. I think I can just, I don't know if my thumb is gonna make it. Not accessible. looks pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and weld it from the inside. My best work, not my worst work, but working with these space constraints that I was in, it will do fine. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to these mounts. All right, so the next annoying thing I'm running into is he, like, ground the bolt so that it would fit in there, uh, which makes zero sense because how is he planning on ever, ever taking this out? But... So what I'm going to have to do is just cut through the mount that he made out of aluminum. This is a steel frame. And then remove the bolt. Just another extra step I'm going to have to take, unfortunately. So there you go, 10 things to do one. It's just the fucking name of the game. I was like, wow, that's on there tight, you know? No, it's just fucking bad design, honestly. Well, I didn't fuck the bolt up, so I guess it could be used. All right, so we're gonna do just like we did the other ones. This out of the way. Okay. 
so I can't get my hand behind there with the chalk. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of line of sight it. Don't like to do that, but sometimes this is what works. So that's what we got right about there. All right, that's one of the things I like about the bandsaw. You can pick the pieces up right after you cut them. Let's go ahead and test fit this and make sure this is gonna work out. Hoping it is. This is kind of turning into a little bit of a pain in the ass. Looks good. Yep, it's gonna work beautifully. Let's grab our piece and um, go ahead and figure out the last mount. And straight edge this. All right, let's go cut that on the bandsaw. Looks pretty good. Let's go test it out. Yep, beautiful. All right. As you can see, it's a pretty good fill. A little bit of air on the one side. That's okay. So we'll go ahead and bolt these in. And um, yeah. Another problem I'm having is this thing keeps leaking um, antifreeze, um, which is pretty annoying. Um, and then, like I said, in the frame, there's oil. So it's just a couple of little bullshit things, but these should be a lot easier than the other ones were as far as that goes. So yeah, let's bolt them down. So it appears I lost a nut. So I have a big box of nuts and bolts over here. Let's see if we can find one that matches this thread. I don't really know where it is. I looked all over, can't find it. Um, and we also just need to prep these out real fast, get them nice and shiny. So again, he can clean them up if he so desires. All the shit I know is not going to fit out of the way. I'll get down to the nitty gritty of finding the one that will. Nope. It's close. If it's not it, it's very close. It's not it though. But nope. It's not it either. So it's a nope. Too small. Yeah, no. This has been the closest looking one so far. Was the original one? Nope. Oh, this looks promising. Uh, it's got coarse thread, I think, though. Let's see, right size, wrong thread. Mm. Nope. Too coarse. This one's probably going to be too coarse too. Yeah, I just need a fine thread. Another coarse thread. Coarse. Coarse thread again. Coarse. Coarse. Fuck, I wish I didn't lose it. Well, I found it and I feel stupid. It was right there the whole freaking time. All right, well, let's move on with our lives. Nice and shiny. So I'm gonna put the points, I think, yeah, I'm gonna put them downward. You can put them either way, but I like downward. That one's still a little toasty. That's for sure. All right. Here we go. 
good, high and tight. Side now I think I, I think I hope I can yeah. hmm. it's beautiful all right let's move on to this side. See this side, we got a little bit of a gap, so I'm gonna go over there and turn the wire up. Maybe a little bit of less heat too. And because this one is not touching the bike, I'm gonna attack it first. get the camera in there how tight the motor is to it um shit i really want to weld these all the way around um let's go ahead and give it a shot and hopefully i can i can fill that in but you can see i mean this is my finger so you can see what i'm working with there i mean i know the wire will fit in there but the problem is is i don't really want to get it up on the case it's just turning into a little bit more difficult of a job than I anticipated. I thought, ah, oh, easy job, I'll film it for YouTube. It's always when it looks easy. When it looks hard is when it's just easy. Like that Kubota I, re I, I repaired, that looked hard, and that was fucking super easy. Easier than this, believe it or not. Well, I mean, easier in a different way. I can't... I don't know. I think I might be able to get it. Let's... See if I can't. Nope, I'm just welding to fucking frame. I can get this down here. I can get at least some of it. Yeah. Mm, that's not good. It's not bad either. Try it again. Let me get, try to get a little more comfortable. I think maybe. God damn it. The arc doesn't want to have trouble getting it over there. Sometimes when you're having problems like this, it's better to just stop. Um, what I'm going to do is, cause this is, these are all welded. Every, every other mount is welded front and back. I'm hundred percent positive that they're good. That one's only welded really good on one side. So what I'm going to tell the customer is that if he wants, it's welded good on one side. And I mean, most of the mounts on this thing were all, only ever welded on one side. So there's that, but I'm going to tell the customer that if he wants me to weld it on the inside, he needs to pull the motor up for me now that the mounts we know are set in their place. Um, because this is turning into a bit of a, a bit of a sticky situation. There's just not enough room for me to get the MIG up in there. But there's an eighth of an inch between the frame and the motor block. See, this, this is not meant to go in there. This is, 
this is a a, a two-stroke motor that this dude tried to stuff into a four-stroke frame. Or, yeah. Yeah, this is a four-stroke frame. This is a two-stroke motor. And, I mean, it works out for the most part except for the mounts. And that's that's what he needed me to do. But um, he also had to, like, grind the frame in order to get the exhaust in, which is never a good thing. All right, so I'm, I'm just going to call it there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and inform the customer tomorrow when he comes to pick this up that I can't weld between the frame and the motor the way it sits right now. If he'd like to pull the motor and bring it back, um, I'm, I'll be more than happy to weld that inside uh, piece there. I don't think it's going to come apart, but I just always like to wrap my corners and weld everything all the way around if I can. Um, definitely not super happy with not being able to weld that all the way around. I did get the other three all the way around. So that's just how these projects go sometimes. Something that looks super simple just turns out to be a pain in the ass. But anyway, if you like what you saw here today, subscribe, like, the whole nine, you know, do the thing, support the channel, work the algorithm, leave me a freaking comment or whatever, you know, help me out, huh? Let's grow the channel. All right? I'm giving you guys some insight. A little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. But I got some more tricks up my sleeve. All right, guys. Keep on pushing MIG. Keep on dragging stick. Keep doing what you do. I'll catch you next time, all right?